Hello, just a short video to show you the basic controls of your new vehicle. We'll start with locking and unlocking. So on the key, you've got lock, unlock, press this middle button and hold it, it will only unlock the boot. To start the vehicle, all you have to do is put your foot on the clutch and press the start button once. Nice and simple. Okay, we'll start on the left hand side here. So to connect the Bluetooth, all you have to do is press this button here. It will come up with this screen on there. You press add new and then you'll serve a Tucson on your Bluetooth device settings on your phone. Now this button here will do voice control, you've got volume and change the radio station. Over here we've got your lights and indicators. Up and down accordingly for the indicators. You can do a little half press, it will click three times if you're going off say a mini roundabout or something like that. And you've got three light settings, you've got automatic lights, side lights, main beam, and always keep it automatic, it does it for you. Okay, if you go to the right hand side we've got your cruise control. And set the cruise control, you press this button here. As you can see on there, it will toggle onto the cruise control. Press the mode button below it, it'll go to speed limiter as well. Now if you get to your desired speed on the cruise control, get to your desired speed and then flick this button down, it will set that speed. What it won't do is brake for you, so you still need to brake for the vehicle as well. Over here we've got your wipers, so pull towards you the front, you want to do it because the car's nice and clean. Uh, but up and down accordingly for the speed of the front wipers and twist to do the rear wipers. Okay, so over here we've got your traction control, just don't really press that. Um, you've got your lane departure warning. Head, uh, brightness of the display and headlight height. Over here we've got your auto folding mirrors, uh, mirror operation, and then you've got your window operation and lock and lock the vehicle. If you're going to the centre console now, we're going to start with the radio station. Now to save a radio station, go to the list, find your stations. Now because you guys are coming um, up from Scotland, uh, just a little bear in mind your stations may change. But say for example you like magic, press magic, make sure it's obviously playing, which it is. And then if you press favourites, you can then press and hold that, it will save it as a preset. So go to the next part of the uh, video, we're going to look at the sat nav. So to set the sat nav, destination press the nav button there, press address, and then quite simply fold it on the screen settings to where you want to go to. If you just want to see the map screen, just press map, it will bring it up for you there. If we go further down, we have got your air conditioning and heat seats panel. So you've got dual climate control on this one, so nice and simple. Twist for the temperature, leave aside. If you want to synchronise that to the driver's side, just press sync on the left hand side and it'll synchronise both of it the same. And you can adjust it from one side. Now your fan speed here, and then you've got your direction here. If you want to take your heat seats on, you've got um, two buttons here, so left and right and the front. You've got three different options for it. Okay. Come further down, you've got your wireless charging pads to wipe, so make sure your, car, um, your phone's charging wirelessly. Pop your phone in there, make sure all the doors are closed, and then that will charge wirelessly for you. And there'll be an orange light come on here to indicate that it is working. And you've got two USB, sorry, two 12 volt charging stations and a USB which you can connect to Apple CarPlay. And if we go further down, you've got three buttons here. You've got your steering mode, downhill assist control, start stop on and off when the light's on, that I means it's off. And you've got your parking intensive beepers, so that turns it on. And then finally, we've got your automatic parking brake. So to set that, all you do is, like a normal parking brake, you put it to put it on, and put your foot on the brake and put it down to take it off. This button here will do an auto hold. It's almost like doing a clutch control on a hill start. Nice and simple, but it does it for you with the handbrake. Okay, and then finally, to the fuel the vehicle. Just a little reminder, if you look here, there's an arrow next to the fuel gauge. The fuel cap is on the left hand side, all you have to do is press the fuel cap and that will release it. It'll only release if the car's unlocked though. Thank you very much for your time and we'll see you for your handover. All the best.